Hey everybody, welcome back to the Model Factory. So yeah, here it is, the long-awaited final video on the Revell 62 Corvette Gasser. Um, and so we just got this thing finished up um, about a week ago and have finally got around to making a video on it. And I just wanted to show you guys how this thing finally turned out. Um, I do apologize for not doing any kind of build progress videos on this. Um, just, you know, from my previous video, you guys know time and, and, and everything just kind of gets away from you. And, and so we just kind of worked on this thing as we could. And, and here it is. It's all finished up. Um, but I'm going to take you guys through this. I'll walk you through and show you everything that we did and uh, kind of give you that close-up look at it all. Um, so first and foremost, we did not do this exactly how it is out of the box. Um, if you're familiar with what that kit looks like, you'll know this is a bit different. Um, for the most part, though, it is a box stock build other than, you know, things like the color. And then I did some goodies to the uh, engine and kind of dressed it up a bit um, and changed that up so it's not a totally box stock engine. Um, but the body of the kit and, and all of that is pretty much, you know, right out of the box, the rims and everything. Um, I used all of those. Uh, so I really like this blue color that I painted this thing in. Um, it is a mixed color of uh, just craft acrylic paint. Um, lately I've been painting a lot of my models with craft acrylic and uh, it works really, really well. It lays down really smooth. You can airbrush it on there. Um, and then I put a clear coat over it, polish it out, and I've been really happy with the, with the results I have been getting on that. Um, so uh, with that being said though, um, this is a mixed color. I used a couple of blues uh, to kind of, you know, a gray blue and then like a co cobalt blue, kind of mix them together to get this color that you're seeing there. Um, and then the interior here um, has been painted with red. Uh, the blue and red combo is really, really nice. I think they pop off of each other really well. Um, then we gave the wheels kind of a gunmetal-y, bronzy sort of look. Um, was going for sort of like a muted color scheme. Didn't want it to be really bright. Didn't want it to be really flashy. Um, so just kind of went with more of a muted color scheme on this one. Um, I'll flip it up here and let you see the bottom. So there's the bottom. Uh, kind of painted it to, to represent, you know, the, the fiberglass body of these. So the under um, of the body kind of has that fiberglass look. Um, we've got, you know, all of the frame and, and everything there. Um, it's a pretty simple and basic kit, really. Um, goes together really smooth, um, and uh, most of the parts just, just fit really nice right out of the box. Um, so we'll turn this thing, let you kind of see here what's going on. There's the front. Um, we did use, you know, like the, the Corvette logo, all of those kind of decals. We didn't do any of the lettering decals um, that came with the kit. One thing I do like to do on my chrome, just to make it look a little bit more realistic, is I like to hit it with, um, Testers has a, or it's Model Masters, I'm sorry. Um, they have a, uh, it's a window tint spray. And um, let's see if I can get that to focus. And maybe, there we go. Um, it is called the Transparent Black Window Tint. And it's just like a, a lacquer spray. Um, that you can spray on there and most you know I think the purpose was it was for so you could tint your windows um, I like to spray my chrome with it because it, it kind of dulls the chrome down just a little bit in my opinion to make it look um, a little more scale it's not so bright and chromey and, and sometimes can make a model look toyish in my opinion um, I don't know that's what works for me um, there's the rear end uh, we've got you know those wheelie bars and everything um, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much pretty much what it looks like um, all around. And I'll take you here into the engine in just a second, but we've got a bunch of detail goody parts in there that I want to show you. Okay, so here is the engine uh, up close and personal. And um, I'll take some pictures to post up at the end of this so you guys can see it a little bit better, and that way I'm not moving it around all shaky on the camera. Um, but as you can see, I've dressed up the engine quite a bit. Uh, so we've got a lot of uh, ProTech goodies on here. Um, ProTechModelParts.com just makes some absolutely fantastic aftermarket, um, you know, wiring and plumbing and belts and pulley setups, um, uh, fittings, distributor wiring, distributor caps, all the good stuff that you can think of. Um, so they make some fantastic engine dress-up parts. 
and um, that's what we've got here. Uh, so we've got, we'll start with the Demon carburetors that you see there on top, and those are on there. Um, we drilled those out and we put in some posts on there um, so you can see what that looks like. We've got uh, some uh, fuel lines here that we made out of wire and then we're using some of those Protec fittings on there. Um, we painted those to replicate the red anodized fittings. Um, we've got the braided line which you can see here on the side. Uh, it's running down to the uh, fuel pump. Um, and then on the front here, we've got a pulley and belt setup. This is a Protec pulley and belt setup. Uh, it, it differed a little bit than what the kit uh, belt setup was for the uh, blower here. And so because of this third pulley right here, um, we had to build a bracket that came off and came down. So we custom built a bracket that comes off and holds this pulley on so that we could then uh, run the belt around that. We do have a... Um, it is the flex fan, aluminum flex fan. You can't see it, but it's down in there as well. Um, I'll try to get all that in the pictures. We've got a MSD ignition box, um, as well as back here, um, we've got a full ProTech uh, distributor cap and uh, spark plug wiring and everything, um, all running down to its respective points on the engine. Um, and so, like I said, I'll try to get those in some of the pictures. I will also have a parts list in the description um, below the video that will show you uh, all of the parts that I used on this from ProTech. Um, and, and I'll put the link in there where you guys can go and, and purchase those if you would like. Um, so here is the interior. And uh, it's pretty basic. Um, it's just pretty much right out of the box, but we painted it red and um, really nice interior ultimately. I mean, it comes out of the box really nice. That's, like I said, that's all that's been done here. Just, we put in the uh, gauge decals, um, all of the dash decals, and then just everything else is just paint to make it look good. Really like the touch of the sun visors here um, on, the, on the top of the window. Um, we have the roll cage that came from the kit um, and everything. I do have some seat belts that I put in um, which I'll show you guys in the pictures at the end of the video as well. Um, but yeah, that's the interior. It's real basic, real simple, um, and uh, but but looks really nice once you uh, detail paint it up. All right, well that's it from me, and um, that's the completed Revell 62 Corvette. Again, I apologize everyone for not having build progress videos for you. Um, I will get back to that on my upcoming builds. Um, and let you guys see the progress and, and all of that good stuff as well. Um, so stay tuned for the pictures. Like I always say, eat, sleep, styrene, and keep building those awesome models, everybody. And I'll see you in the next video.